Hi guys, it's Angie and I'm coming today to do a quick um, DT project share and I'm doing it for a Crafty Me shop and that's owned by Esme and so it's a Facebook group and here's her information so if you go to Facebook and um, request to join her group you'll be able to get on, on her weekly um, sales which are on usually on Fridays and they're you know from one to two hours <laughs> And what she does is she posts a picture of what's for sale, the quantity, and the price. So it's first come, first serve. And so you need to get there quick because everything does sell out quick. So she sells um, bling, uh, lace, trinkets, appliques, candy boxes, you name it, she sells it. And every week is different. Um, so that's kind of why her stuff is one of a kind because she sells every Friday. And then once it's gone, it's gone and she's on to... Um, new things. Um, so anyways, she's a lot of fun and I would definitely go over there and check her out. Um, she's super funny and we just have a good time in her group. Okay, so um, I decided to do a couple of doily dangles. Um, my dear friend Maggie White um, walked me through a really quick tutorial on how um, to do a doily dangle and I I think I really like it, you guys. Uh, like I said, I'm still learning the shabby vintage kind of thing, and I think I totally throw my own spin on any, you know, anything that I try, which is, you know, kind of cool. I try to stay with the concept, but then I kind of veer off and <laughs> go this way. Instead of going straight, I kind of go a little this way, but there's nothing wrong with that, and I think that's what makes us all individuals, is that even though it's a concept, we still end up doing our own take on whatever we are challenged with so okay anyway so I these are called doily dangles um, so the first one um, is sorry a little tangled there is um, um, Peter Rabbit so Peter Rabbit is has some vintage lace back here that I what I did is I kind of gathered it up and hot glued it and made it kind of a ruffle and then I just printed this image um, that I got off of Etsy. And then um, this is um, part of, let's see, it was a long yard, so it was circles. So I just cut a piece of that off. And then we've got the doilies and then another big piece back here, which um, comes in a big yard that was in my DT box. And I love it. I wasn't too quite sure what I was going to do with it, but it's become one of my do, um my two go ones <laughs> so since I've been doing these days, it just seems to like add just a really cool layer and I just love the effect that it gives back you know over on this side because it's you know it just adds it just pops out of the back a little bit you know so it just is I don't know it's just really pretty and so then I have these blue um like the steel blue and then this kind of a taupe dangle trim here and then um what I did is I just cut some other so this, this part and this part is actually a piece off of this. <laughs> so, um, anyways, and they're just Peter Rabbit. And then I just have like a little dangle here that I cut up. And then I have like a little clay flower right here. So I just thought this was really cute. I mean, for my first try of, you know, these doily dangles, I'm actually, you know, so intimidated for so, so long. <laughs> but they're actually fun to make, especially, you know, when you have to impro improvise because I don't have... You know a ton of dangles which is okay because it I just it cha it's a challenge and I just impro improvise and what I do is I kind of just what I did on this one is I just did the taupe and then I did the blue again and then I did another um, a thinner piece of taupe and another thinner piece of the blue and what I did is hung this lower than the front piece so it you know would hang you know, so it looked like it was really full and had a lot of dangles to it. So anyways, this is my first DT. I hope you like that one, Esme. And then, so this one's just kind of just a shabby uh, Peter Rabbit um, doily dangle. So there's that one. And then the next one, this one is actually my very first one. And this one's more of a vintage um, doily dangle. And this image came in my DT box. And I just thought it would be perfect to try to get this on a doily dangle as the as the main subject so everything that you see here um, everything everything that you see on this one is in my DT box I kind of 
challenge myself except for the the gypsy pearls and or the gypsy bells and dangle beads but you know here it's all esme in this one <laughs> so um again i just started off with the doilies and the layer doilies and then another piece of this right here um is back here and then I just put some little tiny itty bitty trim that I had on my DT. And then again, I did the same thing here. I gathered it up and put it behind there. And then um, this was in my DT box. It was a pretty crown. And I kind of just, I uh, put some rub and buff on there just to um, tone down the silver. I mean, I like silver, but I'm more like, you know, a muted silver or muted gold. Um, and then, uh, so this was another piece, an applique in the DT box. So like I said, I started off the doilies, and then I added this piece right here. And then, um, so you can see the bottom of that one. And the same thing, you guys, I just used what I had. So here's a piece of the taupe, and then this one was actually an applique that was, you know, like a triangle that I actually use as a dangle and then I added another little piece that was actually a piece off of this. This is comes in so handy. Sorry, I think my um hold on one sec. Sorry about that. I think it was jumpy a little bit and hopefully it straightens itself out. Um anyways back to where I was saying so and then another layer of the taupe and then um this little applique over there and then I just kind of like had had my own spin on it. I just dangled some pearls here and some of these gypsy bells on the tips of the leaves. And then um, this vintage um, applique was in my DT. And um, this really pretty um, doily, this crochet doily was, the, um, was in my DT. And then I just put a hanger up here and then I put the homemade with my key on the back of this one. So yeah, guys, um, there you go. Here's two doily dangles for, um, for Crafty Me Shop. I hope you like these, Esme. Um, I have another project that I'll be sharing a little later on. It's more of a um, going into the Christmas season, so I thought these would be kind of fallish, you know, <laughs> a little bit fallish since we're into the fall still, and then I'll share my other one later on. All right, Esme, thank you so much for having me on your design team. I, I, um, I feel so honored to represent your store and I thank you for everything that you've done for me in the last year and your friendship means the world. So, um, yeah, for sure. Get over there and get in her group. It's a lot of fun. And so, um, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.